Have you ever wondered how to trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies? Today, we're going to embark on a journey into the exciting yet sometimes unpredictable world of cryptocurrency trading. Imagine a bustling marketplace, but instead of fruits and vegetables, we're dealing with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the likes. Cryptocurrencies, led by the Vanguard Bitcoin, have been gaining traction over the past decade, captivating the minds of tech enthusiasts, financial experts, and the everyday individual alike. Part of the allure lies in their potential for substantial returns. Stories of overnight millionaires who struck gold during the crypto boom are intriguing, aren't they? However, let's not get carried away just yet. Trading cryptocurrencies, much like any other form of trading, comes with its own set of risks. The crypto market is notoriously volatile, with prices that can skyrocket to dizzying heights one moment and plunge into the abyss the next. Navigating this roller coaster requires a solid understanding of the market dynamics, a well thought out strategy, and nerves of steel. So, are you ready to delve into this thrilling world? Do you have what it takes to ride the crypto wave? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. In this video, you're going to learn a step by step process on how to trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Let's get started. Before you start trading, it's important to understand what cryptocurrencies are. Cryptocurrencies in the simplest terms are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography for security. Cryptography, a method of protecting information by transforming it into an unreadable format, is what makes these currencies secure and hard to counterfeit. The most popular and widely recognized cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. Bitcoin came into existence in 2009, marking the inception of cryptocurrencies. It was designed to work as a decentralized medium of exchange, independent of any central authority. This decentralization is made possible by a technology called blockchain, a public ledger containing all transaction data from anyone using Bitcoin. The value of Bitcoin, like other cryptocurrencies, is determined by supply and demand dynamics in the market. It's not issued or backed by any banks or governments, nor is it valuable as a commodity or an asset. Rather, Bitcoin is created by a process known as mining, where powerful computers perform complex calculations to secure transactions and add them to the blockchain. It's also worth noting that Bitcoin is divisible. The smallest unit, called a Satoshi, is 100 millionth of a single Bitcoin. This divisibility makes Bitcoin suitable for microtransactions, which traditional electronic money cannot perform. Now that you know what cryptocurrencies are, let's move on to how you can start trading them. The first step in trading cryptocurrencies is setting up a cryptocurrency wallet. A cryptocurrency wallet may seem like a daunting concept at first, but it's really just a digital pocketbook where you can store, send, and receive digital currencies. You can think of it like your bank account for cryptocurrencies. Setting up a cryptocurrency wallet is a straightforward process. First, you need to choose a wallet. There are many types available including online wallets, mobile wallets, and hardware wallets. Online wallets are accessible from any device with an internet connection, while mobile wallets are apps on your phone. Hardware wallets, on the other hand, are physical devices that store your cryptocurrencies offline, providing an extra layer of security. Once you've chosen your wallet, it's time to set it up. This usually involves downloading the wallet software or app and creating an account. Here, you'll need to provide some personal information and create a password. It's important to use a strong password and keep it safe, as losing this password can mean losing access to your cryptocurrencies. Next, you'll be given a private key. This is a long string of numbers and letters that is unique to your wallet. It's essentially the key to your digital treasure chest. It's critical to keep this private key safe and secure. If someone else gets hold of it, they can access and steal your cryptocurrencies. Many people choose to write down their private key and store it in a secure location, such as a safe. Finally, you'll need to secure your wallet. This often involves setting up two-factor authentication, which adds an extra layer of security to your wallet. With two-factor authentication, you'll need to provide two forms of identification, typically your password and a code sent to your phone, to access your wallet. And there you have it. You've set up your cryptocurrency wallet. Remember, security is paramount when dealing with digital currencies. It's not just about protecting your money, it's about protecting your financial future. You've now set up your cryptocurrency wallet. The next step is to buy your first cryptocurrency. With your wallet set up, you're ready to buy your first cryptocurrency. Now buying cryptocurrency is similar to buying anything else online. 
However, instead of a shopping website, you will use a cryptocurrency exchange. It's a digital marketplace where traders can buy and sell cryptocurrencies using different fiat currencies or alternative digital coins. Choosing a reliable cryptocurrency exchange is crucial. Some popular choices include Coinbase, Binance, and Kraken. Each platform has its own set of features, fees, and security measures. Do your research and choose the one that suits your needs best. Once you've chosen an exchange, you'll need to create an account. This process is similar to signing up for any other online service. You'll provide some basic information, choose a password, and perhaps go through some form of identity verification. This verification process is known as KYC, or Know Your Customer, and it's a standard procedure used to prevent fraud and money laundering. Now, with your account set up, it's time to buy some cryptocurrency. How you do this will vary slightly from exchange to exchange, but generally, you'll navigate to the marketplace, select the cryptocurrency you want to buy, and enter the amount you wish to purchase. You can usually choose to buy in terms of a specific volume of cryptocurrency or a specific dollar amount. Next, you'll choose your payment method. Many exchanges accept bank transfers, credit cards, and even PayPal. Once your payment is processed, the cryptocurrency you purchased will appear in your exchange wallet. Keep in mind, it's generally recommended to move your cryptocurrency from your exchange wallet to your personal wallet. This is because personal wallets often have higher security features than exchange wallets. And there you have it. You've navigated the exchange, made a purchase, and safely stored your cryptocurrency in your wallet. Great! You've made your first cryptocurrency purchase. Now let's talk about how to trade. Trading cryptocurrencies involves buying and selling them to make a profit. This process might seem complex at first, but once you understand the basics, you'll find it's a lot like trading stocks or Forex. Let's start with the trading charts. These are visual representations of the price movements of a cryptocurrency over time. They consist of candlestick patterns which represent the opening, closing, high and low prices in a specific period. The green candlestick indicates that the closing price was higher than the opening price, showing an upward trend or a bullish market. The red candlestick represents a bearish market, where the closing price is lower than the opening price. Now let's move on to the bid and ask prices. The bid price is the highest price that a buyer is willing to pay for a cryptocurrency. The ask price, on the other hand, is the lowest price a seller is willing to accept. The difference between these two prices is called the spread. Traders aim to buy at the bid price and sell at the ask price to make a profit. Next, we have the concept of trading pairs. In cryptocurrency trading, you're not just buying one crypto, you're essentially swapping one for another. For instance, if you're trading the Bitcoin-Ethereum pair, you're selling Bitcoin to buy Ethereum or vice versa. This is why it's essential to understand the value of both cryptocurrencies in the pair, as the price movements of one can significantly affect the other. Finally, making a trade. Once you've analyzed the market, decided on your trading pair, and determined your bid and ask prices, it's time to make a trade. You can either place a market order, which is buying or selling at the current market price, or a limit order, where you set a specific price at which you want to buy or sell. Now you have the basic knowledge to start trading cryptocurrencies, but remember, practice makes perfect. So, start small, learn as you go, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. After all, even the most successful traders had to start somewhere. To recap, we've covered the basics of cryptocurrency trading. We started our journey by understanding what cryptocurrencies are, with Bitcoin as our prime example. We learned how these digital currencies function, the technology behind them, and their potential to revolutionize financial transactions. Next, we dove into the process of setting up a cryptocurrency wallet. This is your digital bank account, where you can send, receive, and store your cryptocurrencies securely. We also explored the different types of wallets available, each with their unique features. We then moved on to buying cryptocurrencies. We discussed the various platforms where you can purchase these digital assets, and the importance of considering factors like fees, security, and user experience. Finally, we delved into the thrilling world of cryptocurrency trading. We touched on how to analyze market trends, make informed decisions, and manage risks. Trading cryptocurrencies can be exciting and potentially profitable, but remember it's important to keep learning and stay updated with market trends. Happy trading!